All right. Real quick, I just want to talk about fifth wheel hitches with a short bed ram. Here you see I got the Anderson hitch and lightly used. Now with this, this isn't the one that you use with a gooseneck. This is the one that you use with the industry standard rails. That coupler right there goes right onto the kingpin that allows you to attach it to the Anderson gooseneck there. Now, while I love the weight savings and the ability to take on and off the fifth wheel hitch with one person very easily, um, the simplicity of it, with a ram short bed, it just didn't work for us. Now, the problems that we had with it were only a few. I mean, driving down the highway, driving down normal roads where we live, out in the uh, Central Valley of California, not a big deal. You know, we drove all the way from Central Valley of California, took it out to Vegas, took it to the Central Coast, and had very little problem towing with it whatsoever. Actually, no problems towing with it. This thing was easy to hook up. I mean, it was it was just a dream compared to the, you know, fifth wheel hitch that I'm using now. But that fifth wheel hitch just works a whole lot better for us. Um, being that it's able to uh, articulate just a little bit more because of bed clearances. So the Anderson hitch, it, it, it was a fine hitch. I mean, if you have a long bed, I mean, th this is a slam dunk right here. With a, with a long bed, Ram or any other truck, it, it would be just awesome to have. I mean, no problems with it whatsoever. Nice and quiet, easy to hook up, easy to adjust. Um, love this hitch. But, unfortunately, I don't have a long bed. I got a Ram short bed. We got the Mega Cab, which I don't want to give up. My kids are small, and it gives us plenty of room for the kids. They don't feel like they're in our face for the entirety of the uh, trip. Um, it's nice and comfortable for me and my wife. So the inside, they have plenty of room back there. Uh, especially for those long trips, you know, traveling 700, you know, several hundred thousand, several hundred miles to a few thousand miles a year or per trip. So the reason we got that Anderson was this is what we started pulling with at first. And it's the, this water out of the way, the uh, Super Glide. Now this is the, it's made by Pool Right. And uh, we're getting ready for another trip, so that's why it's in here. This is the 2900 model. And this is rated up to 20,000 pounds. And a uh, 5,000 pound pin weight. So plenty, plenty for our trailer. And this is, I mean, simple enough. You can see it just tracks on those two beams right there. And it locks in. There's a plate that you gotta put on your kingpin so it doesn't, so it won't pivot, because that kingpin won't just pivot in that while it's in the hitch, while it's locked up in the hitch. What it does is it goes around the kingpin which will slide in there and there's a locking block that fits behind it that as you make a turn, it captures, it's called a capture plate and it captures this whole head here of the uh, fifth wheel hitch. What it does is it turns it. So as you're turning, as you're turning to the left, this will pivot and it'll extend to the back, I believe, given 14 inches, giving you 14 inches of clearance. And that for us is, is completely necessary um, some of the campgrounds we go to are a little older, a little smaller, you know, having to make U-turns in some places. Um, we just couldn't do that with the Anderson hitch. Couldn't make that U-turn. Otherwise we'd smash our cab. This right here, we're able to, um, make a full U-turn, go 90 degrees, and not hit our cab. Um, and we do that with our 
2021 Keystone fifth wheel. It is a Sprinter Elite. It's a 42 foot bunkhouse model. Weighs 14,000 pounds. So it's not extremely heavy when it comes to, you know, fifth wheels. It's not the toy hauler 20,000 pound, you know, GVWR. But 14,000 pounds is, is a bit. Pin weight on it is about 2,900 pounds. And uh, this works for our single rear wheel, 3,500. With air ride. And all the air ride does, it just levels, it levels it out. So the uh, GVWR on this one right here, because it does have the high output and the ice and transmission that Ram has in the 3500s, or can option out with that uh, Ram Air suspension, it gives us uh, about 4,100 pounds of, of payload. And so that's plenty of payload. We are actually about, oh, I think about 300 and some odd pounds under our payload. Um, so we come in, this truck weighs in when we're loaded down with the fifth wheel and passengers. I installed a 50 gallon fuel tank. So with that full, we're still under 300 pounds um, under our GVWR. So we come in at about 11,900 and some odd pounds. And our fifth wheel right weighs in about 13,750 pounds, about 250 pounds under, under its GVWR. Total, we're towing 23,000 pounds, give or take. And again, it's just, you know, this uh, Super Glide made by Pullright has just been awesome. It's kind of a bear. It's heavy, 225 pounds. I've had to get a... Uh, a little shop crane from uh, Harbor Freight, along with Demco's uh, uh, pin, and I'll, I'll I'll post a video of that how to do it, and uh, I can get that out real easy by myself. Just a hydraulic lift, um, hand pump style. Anyhow, Anderson Hitch is great. You got a long bed, use it. Um, I, you know, if I had a long bed, or if Mega Cab came with a long bed option in the future, I would probably opt for that. And, uh, but for now, this is what we got. And for the foreseeable future, I mean, I don't, I mean, this has been a great truck. We got about 13, a little over 13,000 miles on it now. We got 4,000 miles towing our trailer in the last six months. Um, so it's, it's been, uh, it's been a good hitch. Uh, very easy to maintain, super easy to hook up. And, uh, anyhow, re recommend it. If you're towing with a short bed ram, you know, there's others out there, but but this thing is is auto. It, it You don't have to get out. You don't have to pull any levers or anything like that. As soon as you back up and that thing clicks in, it, it's clicked in. You just make sure those do jaws are shut. There's no other lever. Um, and then whenever you're ready to unhook, you pull the, the handle with the yellow handle there, and it unhooks. It, it's pretty simple. And as you turn left, you turn right, you want to make back, back left, back right. Um, this thing will give you an extra 14 inches, I believe. 11 to 14 inches. Look up the specs, you know. I mean, this, this is not a full spec uh, video. Look up the specs and um, see if it works for you. But I know it works for a 5th gen mega cab or short bed configuration um, Ram 3500. So check it out. They make some lighter ones. This is again. This is the uh, little heavier one. They make one lighter one. I think that comes in at sixteen thousand pounds GVWR, which would actually work for us. But this is what this is what we got, and it works.